Welcome back, Wolfpack. Brolis here, two more fan Fridays. Hey, look at that. We got a mono fairy type team on just the battle spot for fun. See what happens now. The crazy thing about mono fairy is it's actually really good just by itself, you know. Togekiss, pretty powerful. Azumarill also has a lot of power for it. Um, we do have Sylveon. Just fairy type Pokemon are really good in general. It's just crazy like that. And then we even have Pokemon like Mega Mawile. Well, I didn't see it on the team. It resists the steel and or it's immune to steal, so things like that can happen. And the opponent just going to go with that Protect on the Cresselia and then the Follow Me on the Toge Togekiss, so that's not going to really change much. Now, it seems that the most common usage for the Whimsicott has been Tailwind recently, so maybe something to consider. Like, that could have been a free turn. You know, Togekiss can air slash that Whimsicott and get a lot of craziness going, but Azumarill gets the free Belly Drum. Oh, wait, this is the Azukiss combo. But, like, we've actually seen it enough to know that it's a legit thing. So, Aqua Jet onto the Cresselia going to do crazy amounts of damage. Now, if that one shot the Cresselia, I would have lost my mind. Cresselia is a tanky Pokemon, but this is kind of it. So, can't do anything after the taunt with the Togekiss. It can still go for whatever. And now, Azumarill is going to have some fun. So, that is going to be Protect on the Cresselia, and Azumarill is going to take the taunt from the Whimsicott. I don't really think taunt matters at this point, but Azumarill aqua jetting the Whimsicott anyways, going to get a serious amount of damage as well, but it was a critical hit. And the Togekiss, oh man, pure status Togekiss. And the struggle picks up the KO. Did that just happen? That's amazing. That's like uh, for my Spooky Cup battle that I left in Sableye and I still got the KO even with like all of my status going down. So that's something. And that's going to be Gengar coming in. Now, I feel Gengar is just going to get one shot by the Aqua Jet. And I would be correct in thinking that. So, a critical hit, I'm 99.99% sure that that has no chance of mattering whatsoever. Then we have Huge Power plus the Belly Drum. I think that's eight times attack on Azumarill. So, we're getting to ridiculous numbers. So, it gets just going to keep struggling. Why not? A little bit of damage here. Going to help Azumarill's Waterfall, I guess, in this case can just waterfall for damage now or aqua jet is still going to be a ko and you can just ignore it it's not like there's going to be any threat coming from the lone cresselia it hasn't shown it yeah it's shown protect so it hasn't shown calm mind or anything and that's going to be it but we do have the mega agron the king of being a defensive tank so we're going to see what mega agron does versus the crazy azumarill now i have called mega agron pretty op in the past so if it just survives like the Aqua Jet with a good amount of hit points, yeah, about half from that Aqua Jet. So you could have used the Waterfall, might have been a KO, but it does show how tanky Mega Agron is. Like, this battle is pretty much over is what it looks like. Oh, Zoom Reel does go down anyways. Darn, I was... Oh, hey, look at that. It, it was able to handle the Belly Drum on the Zoom Reel, but the Azuka's strategy too strong. So now that Taunt is not as much of a problem anymore, we can start to see some things happen. Now it's Gardevoir. So, Togekiss is still in the field, Gardevoir gets to do whatever it wants, going to get Levitate, just for the fun of it, and now, you know, we have Follow Me, we have whatever other status Togekiss wants to throw out, might have Tailwind, Tailwind with the Gardevoir would be good in general, not against this, the opponents are very slow, but Gardevoir with that Hyper Voice, going to be good damage onto both Pokemon, but not enough for the KO right there, and the Ice Beam onto Togekiss, Togekiss is so tanky. Like, when you run a full status Togekiss, you don't have to worry about anything. You just go, like, full defenses with some with the hit point investment. And... Yo! Was that Metronome? Oh, man. That would be so crazy if we got, like, some really awesome Metronome snowballing from the Togekiss. That would be pretty nice. But this battle's still looking to be a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. So, we get some stuff right there. Togekiss wish going to come true. Going to heal up a bit and still going to sit up. But Gardevoir looks like it has this one down. So the Hyper Voice will get the double K. Oh, yes, it will. And that is going to be the game right there. So the Azukas combo, I will say, is something we have seen. I do think it's a pretty cool strategy because anything with the Follow Me, that's going to let Azumarill set the Belly Drum. And then you just go for like Aqua Jet Kills. Like the, the opponent, if he didn't have as bulky of a team, that would have been like just an absolute sweep. But it does show, you know, some strategies from time to time. Mono Fairy still pretty strong. And that is going to be it for this episode of Fan Fridays. Get ready for some more coming up in a bit. Thank you for watching, by the way.